This question is testing understanding of resistivity and the properties of components when combined in series. So we have two cylindrical wires um, of equal length, same material, um, damage of P is greater than Q, and we have the P and Q are connected in series and the ends of this arrangement connected to a power supply. So that's how they're set up. So they're set up in parallel. Which two quantities are the same for P and Q? So I'm going to go through line by line. So um, the potential difference across the across them uh, won't be the same for each of them. They're in series, so the potential will be divided up um, as per the, the ratio of their resistances. So um, they're different cross-section areas, but they have the same, they made the same material. Uh, the lengths are the same. So using R is uh, rho L over A, um, if rho is the same and L is the same and A is different, then the resistances have to be different. So their resistances are, are different. Uh, which rules out uh, C and D as well. So the resistances have to be different because the cross-section areas are different. And because the resistances are different, the potential differences will be different. The resistivities are the same, however, for line A. So line B, uh, the resistivities are the same. And because they're in series, the current must be the same. So um, that is the correct answer. And we could stop there, but let's check the others. So C, current is the same, but resistance isn't for reasons I've already explained. And then D, resistance isn't the same, nor is potential difference the same. Okay, so I'm happy um, that it's B, res resistivity and current.